Alright guys, it's dino time. the uh, mass air meter it back in so we're gonna try and throw more boost at it and actually see what our manifold temp is doing and uh, try again
made nine pounds on that run. And uh, three... 338. 338? Okay. So we're... Yeah. We're, nice. Yeah. Starting to pick up. Yeah, it's really good. So yeah. I'd like to throw some cam angle at it. Um, and we'll see if that works. So you're going to make a pull now with it? Yes. Okay. And when does it enable? Three or oh, it's all the time. Okay. How's it kind of idle? If you only put a little in it, it's fine. It doesn't care. But if you throw a lot at it, it gets stupid. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just going to throw... Why wouldn't you just put a window switch on that thing so it turns on at that, That's Yes, I would like to at some point, but okay. um, yeah, they're, they're we're like not there yet. $30. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> one baby steps. One, one thing at a time. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. That one, that's real blatant. That's 20 pounds feet. It, easy. At 4,000, it's definitely making more power. Oh yeah, that's huge, right here. This this one is huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's massive. From there to there versus there. And even these over. two, like you said. Right, and that's the thing that caught my eye. Yeah. What I'm looking for that's a is lot. to see how wide this gets. Because I don't think it's gonna, I think we're gonna be Turbine restricted until yeah, we just throw yeah. more boost at it and just yeah. let it eat. I'm going to do the same duty cycle with a different frequency because I feel like it's not truly getting sick unless you want me to just throw more duty at it. Yeah, why wouldn't you keep it the same and the, just keep throwing more so duty at it? What I've read is the factory uses a frequency of like 105 hertz. Yeah. I don't know why they pick that number, but they do. It's not 60. Keep going. And basically, zero to 100% duty cycle is zero to 25 degrees of retard. Okay. So I had it on 92 hertz because that's the closest I could get to 105 hertz with the controls here. Just leave it. So leave it at 92, throw more angle. Yeah. Okay. Change the duty cycle to 40 hertz, or 40 percent. What was it? It was 25 okay. or 24. So that should be like 10. 10? Is that right? Yeah, 10. That should be 10 degrees. Okay. The factory puts 12 degrees in it at 3,000 RPM. Right. So I'm going to put 10 in it because essentially what you're doing is you're adding overlap. And a turbo is probably not going to want as much overlap as a naturally aspirated. Because the back pressure of the exhaust is going to start fighting. The best NA cam is also the Okay, best all right, Richard. Period. <laughs> okay, Richard. Period. <laughs> <laughs> it makes more power. All cams matter, right? <laughs> if it made more NA, it's going to make more boost. <laughs> all right, so 10 degrees it is. Super wide. To 4,400. Your scale's different, but yeah, you made 25 more pounds feet of torque. Oh, yeah, because there's your three. Yeah, it's almost closed that window right there. Well, it made uh, 20 more horsepower. Yeah. yeah. That, that woke it up. Yeah, look at this. I mean, look at that arch now. 
compared yeah. to, to that. Yeah, so right there's 20 horsepower. It's got horsepower before and after. Oh, yeah. it, the entire curve went up 20 yeah, horsepower. Wow. And that's 9 pounds of boost. That was 8.6. Cool. That makes me really happy. <laughs> you know, you have no idea how long I've been struggling with that. to see 400. Yeah, so do you want me to do 50% or 60%? So I went from 20 to 40, or 24 to 40. Should we go to 60 or should we go to 50? I'd say 50 to 60 to 70. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to wear the car out, you know, yeah. playing around. I hear you. So let's, okay, you want to try 60? Yeah, let's try 60. And if it doesn't pick up the same power that that did, into it I'm like 5500 that converter was like <laughs> yeah look at this yeah. <laughs> yeah as soon as I rolled into it I'm like oh <laughs> that's 441 horsepower you could tell the car yeah. was like alive yeah I yeah as soon as I rolled into it I'm like dang <laughs> I wonder why it made so much boost though with the same yeah I didn't I didn't do it <laughs> unless the the there's a uh, mine yeah, blown off the, the wall. Yeah. See if there's yeah, a mine blown right. off the uh, wastegate. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we threw more cam angle at it and it made a lot more boost. So we need to make sure the wastegate's still working. Don't know if the uh, additional cam angle created more exhaust gas and got the turbo spinning more. I, I don't know. We're going to find out. but. Uh, right now we're going to test the wastegate. It made 441 horsepower on 16 pounds of boost. So let's do some investigating. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. It's Joe. Oh, I know what's happening. The diaphragm failed. The diaphragm is the Basically, it's pushing up through to the top oh, yeah. and then pushing out. Yeah, the diaphragm failed. Because it's, yeah, it's blown out through the vent valve. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, that's why I went to 16. So, I'm happy. Yes. So you I, got enough, you yeah. got enough to work with. Yeah, let's, I'm, I'm good. Yep.
so that last pass, the diaphragm in the wastegate failed. Uh, we could, we thought maybe the uh, um, three-port uh, boost controller failed, but uh, what actually happened is the air. Uh, we were using a tester, and the air was leaking past the diaphragm to the other side of the three-port and right out the three-port. So it's probably pretty screwed up in there, but we're gonna call that good. Made 441 horsepower on 16 pounds of boost. Fuel looked good. Sparks seem good. So we're going to run it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.